By now, you might know it's possible to have a kitchen robot like Thermomix, which can cook, bake, and do 20 kitchen appliance functions in one. I'm Erin from Tech Gadgets Canada and Tech Gadgets International, and the Thermomix TM6 is a pretty cool kitchen appliance, and now it's added the ability to do two more cooking tasks that can otherwise seem like a bit of a chore. Thanks to a special new attachment for the device, you can now get easier grating and slicing, no shredded fingers required. In this review, I got the opportunity to try out the new Thermomix TM6 Cutter, as it's known, which grates and slices in two different thicknesses. I'll tell you what it's like to use, how exactly it works, what specifically it can slice and grate and what it can't, and if I think it's a good add-on for your machine. There are a few parts and pieces in the package, so let's lay them out. You get the bowl, there's a lid with a feeder tube, a special pusher, the motor shaft extension, and dual side cutting blade. Important to note is that the shaft extension is small and kind of buried in the box. Don't throw out the packaging until you've got it. The cutting blade is interesting. It works by cutting or grating at different thicknesses based on which direction it's spinning in and which side is facing up. It's a wee bit weird to get your head around it, but it's actually really smart. The slices or gratings come in four millimeter or one millimeter thicknesses. Putting this all together is easy, just remove the lid of your TM6 and any accessories you have in the mixing bowl. Insert the motor shaft and click it into place over the blade. Set the bowl into the stainless steel mixing bowl. Next, choose your cutting disc option. Turn whichever side you want to use face up and set it on the shaft extension. Finally, seat the lid over the blade, slipping the small pin onto the center of the disc. Now you're ready. On the screen of your TM6, you need to swipe to your quick menu and locate the grating or slicing program if you're going manual, or choose a recipe that uses the cutter. Within each program, you'll choose thick or thin cuts from the menu, and this is activated, like I said, based on the direction the cutter blade spins. The machine handles all that for you. Touch start and feed your food into the tube. What is the Thermomix cutter good for? You may think this accessory is only good for things like grating cheese or slicing carrots, but not so. It's actually surprisingly versatile and it can be used on way more foods than you think. Thermomix has a few suggested recipes in its database that work perfectly with the new cutter. The grater can make really quick work of things like cabbage if you want to make coleslaw or potatoes for hash browns. It can grate cheese, of course, and flipping to the slicing side, you can get sliced apples for things like pie, sliced carrots or parsnip for soups and stews, and a lot more. You can also slice things like celery and really any vegetable for cooking or recipes. It'll even slice softer foods like strawberries, tomatoes, avocado, and firm bananas. Really, the only things Thermomix advises against slicing or grating are chocolate and eggs, since those could clog up the machine. I tried using the Thermomix cutter on a variety of kitchen tasks. The first thing I tried slicing was strawberries for a pie, and it made really quick work of a finger staining chore. Plus, the nice even slices thanks to the machine ensures an even bake. I sliced carrots for stew and a carrot salad. With this one, I opted to choose both the thicker cut and the thinner cut just to get some different sizes in my salad. I sliced potatoes for a layered potato dish for a dinner party, and I used Thermomix's cookie dew recipe for gratin. The nice uniform slices look beautiful in the finished dish. I will note that with larger foods that are too fat or chubby or round to fit in either the larger or the smaller feeder tube, you do need to trim your food down a bit so it will fit. Now, sometimes this can prove a bit challenging if you want nice food staging type slices, but you can usually find a way to make it work. I grated some Gruyere cheese too for that potato dish, and I also tried using the cutter for grated potatoes to make Irish boxy pancakes. I made coleslaw and another grated potato and cheese casserole too, plus a cucumber salad. Now what about the cleanup? Anyone familiar with a Thermomix knows that cleanup is one of the many advantages of this machine. Now, while the new attachment isn't conducive to regular Thermomix cleaning, which is where you fill the bowl with water and soap and run it for a few seconds, the plastic parts do rinse clean in seconds and really only takes a quick moment to wash up. 
Overall, this is a really convenient, helpful, and well-engineered accessory for a Thermomix TM6. It makes really quick work of tedious slicing and grating chores, and the cleanup is lightning fast. Now, what are the downsides? For me, it seems like there's not a ton of difference between the thin and the thick slices. I'd love a bit more of a substantial difference, or maybe Thermomix will be creating new blades in the future to give you the option of a chunkier cut or rippled slices. The possibilities could be endless there. If you've invested in a Thermomix TM6, this is an accessory that you won't regret getting, in my opinion. It retails for about 109 US dollars, though I have also seen it offered for free with a new machine purchase. It's also been routinely sold out, so you'll have to check and see if it's currently available. You can find it from Thermomix's website. Check out my full review of the Thermomix TM6 here, and you can see what I was able to cook with it, or see what using a smart Wi-Fi connected stand mixer is like right now.